So I used to buy this wine uh, from, I didn't buy this particular wine, but there was a wine from Semon. Uh, it used to be called Cote du Semon. So they dropped the Cote du, and now it's just Semon. And uh, I used to buy this wine, and when I became the speaker of Sudwest uh, five years ago, I was like, yeah, I used to buy that Cote de Semon. It was like nine bucks. Had on my wine list for like, you know, 25, 30 bucks. It was like, and, and uh, we were talking to uh, another Somme, Master Somme, like, yeah, I used to love that wine too. Um, it fell out of the marketplace for a little bit, um, unfortunately, but it was really a great deal. I remember tasting it and being like, is that is that an error on the price sheet? <laughs> like that can't be fortuitous <laughs> error. <laughs> no. Eight bucks. That's too good. Um, so this is the tableau um, from uh, from Semol, and we're here uh, looking at Bromon Sang as the lead. So you're going to get even more complexity uh, once you get out of the Uni Blanc world. Uh, you're going to always just end up with more complexity and more texture, not acid texture, but more uh, weight texture. So Gromont Seng uh, is a grape variety that typically ripens early, uh, earlier than Petit Mont Seng. Uh, they like to pick it in that kind of 11 to 12 percent range because it brings so much acidity and freshness and uh, brings a lot of this citrus and apple and kind of melon uh, aromatics. It brings a little bit of that passion fruit, a little bit um, of these kind of aromatics. We, we're going to introduce you now to a grape variety called Petit Corbeau. Uh, which is a unique grape variety that um, is a more of a textured grape variety. It's, uh, it typically um, doesn't have the acidity of, um, of Gromont Seng because it's picked a little bit later. It, it informs the wine with more texture. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the great winemakers in southwest France, and in my opinion, in the world, uh, Alain Vermont of Montus, his Pacheron Pivique Bill is uh, almost 90% for Boo. It has the acidity, but it's got this rich, super rich texture and a lot of floral notes. Uh, almost behaves a little bit like Vignet with acidity. It's a magic combination. Yeah, right? Uh, and then you have um, a little bit of a weird kind of grape variety that I think that some people use it and some people don't, called a Rufiac. Uh, it's an allowed variety in uh, Simon, but that's the only two areas that it's allowed to be planted. And um, I don't know too much about this because it's a divided line. Some producers are like, it's crap. Yeah. And other people well, are like, use it. you have to use it because it's historical. You know, it's more of an homage. Um, so, so there's a little grace note, yeah. 3 5% yeah. in the wines? Yeah, 5% here. So, um, well, on the nose, I mean, obviously you're getting much more mineral, much more perfume. I'm getting almost like a saltiness, like uh, sea salt. So, you know, there's a uh, the honeydew melon. Obviously, citrus is all over this wine. Um, a little bit of quince. I mean, uh, what, what are you what are you getting on this? I'm getting confused because <laughs> people are other people are seeing other people. I, I was getting actually. I think the sea salt. They're talking about seeing Julia here. Yeah, and I don't see Julia. And Julia didn't show up on my on my thing here. Let's see if I if she shows up here. Didn't show up in the control room either. So. Well, look what they do. Yeah, and I see that comment about the back label. Someone made a comment about the back label. Yes, they said it was very consumer friendly and all, all with all the details. Well, yeah, but it also says you know life is about taking time to appreciate the smaller moments in life, and you don't need a PhD in French existentialism uh, to pick a wine. So I, I like what they're doing with uh, with the packaging here and with uh, you know there's like the, the tableau looks like people are having some conviviality here and you know. And in Southwest France, they'll tell you it's all about sitting down with people and hanging out and eating and taking time. So uh, I really feel like uh, the marketing side of this has done a great job. The wine's in the glass, too. The wine is in the glass. What's the price point on this? Um, $14. $14 retail? Yeah, 14 retail. 